welcome by friends today friends i've got a topic to share with you about this castor plant this is a castor oil plant in a bodo language we call it indipang these are the castor leaves indibilai and these are the fruits you see the fruits have already the fruiting has started now these are the flowers this castor plant is associated with our bodo community for agriculture since the early days so this castor leaves are the primary food source for the iris silk worms this is a red variety you can see the stems are red and we have got the white variety both the white and the red variety castor leaves are used for feeding those iris silk worms and the fruits from both the red variety and the white variety are used for castor oil production friends today my main motive is to collect this castor leaves i'll be collecting the castor leaves of both the white and the red variety plants so i've got this beauties which are growing so they need to feed more and more so that they can grow before that i need to collect this i'll be collecting these leaves so friends let's start collecting i'll be plucking one by one so this is how we have to pluck this is the white variety friends you see the stems are white Indibilaiko makase no hai mnai ko butumbai amprai bazai da nongsir bo lai ko bi khulai So friends you can see this is the matured leaf of the castor oil plant we have got both the white and the red variety so my sister in laws they have collected some from the neighborhood and then i have also collected some so we are binding it together we have made it into a bundle now we'll tie the knot this is a hay straw dry hay straw so we'll tie it ready you can see friends this is ready now I've tied the knot I can't be so perfect like them but still I'm trying it the ready is my beer I've divided into two parts so that I can hang it in a bamboo stick so it's ready it needs to be washed before being fed to the iris silk worms so we'll bind all this together You can see now 
this is the aerosol worms now some of them have already matured and some they are still young <laughs> this is actually the borough traditional way of rearing the iris silk worms this is how the iris silk worms are still being reared in our boro community we can still find it in villages it's really a hard work it's really priceless in fact Mm. Uh, mm. Uh, mm. Uh, mm. 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 One by one. <laughs> Castor leaves are the primary food of the iris silk worms. So it's washed, it's ready now. We'll hang it. They have eaten almost all the leaves, so it's time to change now. Some have already matured so fast. Look at them, they're looking for food now. So it's matured. Maybe a buzzer. So, this are the fully matured one. So, after one week, maybe they will start. Uh, Spinning the cocoon, they will start spinning the cocoon after maybe one week or uh, ten days. These worms are um, one and a half month old. The bigger ones are the ones which are which hatched first and these are the second hatching ones so we don't need to plug it we'll take the leaves we'll just hang it over here and then they will look for the food they will climb in the leaves so we'll just leave it like that. Is it touch the Hmm. 
so it's really time consuming out here you can see some have fallen down on the ground they have to be picked and then put in this leaves so it will take time now you can see how big they are and they are quite young now so the small one it has stopped eating because it's time for them to shed their skin kon bise ko sai ba je bisre since the time these worms were hatched they have been shedding their skin multiple times as they shed their skin they will start to mature those iris silk worms they have to be fed twice in a day so the growth of the iris silk worms depends on the quantity of the food the quantity of the food has to be maximum so the development of the iris silk worms will also be faster they will mature faster we can say they eat 24 hours in a day this iris silk poop is also a very valuable and precious we can't just throw it away they are a real source of organic manure for the vegetables in the fields so it will be collected and then will be deposited in the vegetable garden So friends this was today's vlog I'm really happy and I feel really grateful that I could share with you our Bodo community way of or you can a Bodo traditional way of rearing the iris silk worm look up her in a video scope now your name is Amundang but please like share I would need hi Now we can also the creation channel go high please subscribe kalam comment section go high jab lai bo din ai suggestions for dong oba please linani hor i'll try to reply ago mani ang din reply kalam ni na sakan so that's all for today friends thank you for watching gazan thang jab lai bo din ai jingni hari ni boro hari ni jai